pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. The Force fights with me! Get on those gun turrets! Taste of the dark side. been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship? You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm Tras Elgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about your reputation. How you used to smuggle spice and blasters along the Corellian run. I guess the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. But now that you've signed on for this mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Don't be stupid. You won't stand a chance against the Sith by yourself. We gotta stick together if you wanna make it out of this alive. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Use the right thumbstick to control the camera, and the left thumbstick to move towards your footlocker. Press the A button to open your locker once it is targeted, or you can pull the left and right triggers to cycle between targets until the footlocker is highlighted. Then press the A button to open it.
Who's Bastila? Why, Bastila's the most amazing Jedi ever! If I could, I'd turn myself into perfume and have Bastila spray me over every square inch of her body. Okay... Bastila and I will be together forever! Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. This is Cardinal Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. To use an item like a med pack, or to use a feat, skill, or force power, you'll need to know how to use your action menu. In the lower left of the screen, you'll see a list of icons. This is your action menu. You can cycle left and right through these icons at any time using the directional pad. The icons in your action menu will change depending on whether your targeting circle is on a door, a container, a friendly creature, or an enemy. Press the A button to activate a highlighted icon. First, use the black button to take control of the injured character. Use the directional pad to cycle left or right to the icons of the action menu until you see med pack in the information box. Notice the flashing up and down arrows on this icon. This means you have more than one available option for this icon. You must choose between a med pack and an advanced med pack. Use the directional pad to scroll up or down to switch between your med pack and your advanced med pack. Press the A button to use the selected item on the character you currently control.
Jedi, this fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. Who the fuck was that? That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. I should equip a melee weapon, too. Either that or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Something behind here. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go.
there is something behind here. Oh boy, it's my untimely death! For Bastila! Whee! This is Carth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. But be careful. There's a Sith patrol just down the corridor. Use your stealth skill to sneak past him. some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later.
Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you on the escape pod. Do you remember? We've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our skate pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan. Malak's Sith Master. Bastil is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastil was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. I don't, but Bastil is young and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? I mean, if she's dead, then no one can stop Malik and his Sith from wiping out the Republic, and I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. Good. We're gonna need.
need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Wake up, sleepyhead! We gotta find Bastila! Oh, not again. What's so special about Bastila anyway? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila is amazing! Why, if I could, I'd grind my bones into a fine paste and have Bastila apply it to her teeth and gums. Her battle meditation can turn the tide of a battle, and she's vital to the Republic war effort. Yep, I think it's safe to say that Bastila is the galaxy's last hope! I guess we better get searching for her then. We should start looking in the Undercity, the lowest and smelliest part of the city. Let's go!